Numbers chapter 5, Holman Christian Standard Bible. The Lord instructed Moses, command the Israelites to send away anyone from the camp who is afflicted with a skin disease, anyone who has a bodily discharge, or anyone who is defiled because of a corpse. You must send away both male or female, send them outside the camp, so they will not de defile their camps where I dwell among them. The Israelites did this, sending them outside the camp. The Israelites did as the Lord instructed Moses. The Lord spoke to Moses, tell the Israelites, when a man or woman commits any sin against another, that person acts unfaithfully to the Lord and is guilty. The person is to confess the sin that he has committed. He is to pay full compensation, add a fifth of its value to it, and give the individual, give it to the individual he has wronged. But if that individual has no relative to receive compensation, the compensation goes to the Lord for the priest, along with the atonement ram by which the priest will make an atonement for the guilty person. Every holy contribution to the Israelites present to the priest will be his. Each one's co holy contribution is his to give with each one. What each one gives to the priest will be his. Speak to the Israelites and tell them. The Lord spoke to Moses. Speak to the Israelites and tell them. If any man's wife goes astray, he is unfaithful to him and sleeps with another, but is it is concealed from her husband, and she is undetected, even though she has defiled herself. Since there is no witness against her, and she wasn't caught in the act, and if it's a feeling of jealousy comes over the husband, and she becomes he becomes jealous because of his wife, who has defiled herself, or if a feeling of jealousy comes from over him, and he becomes jealous of her, though she has not defiled herself, then that man is to bring his wife to the priest. He is also to bring an offering of her for her for two, of two quarts of barley flour. He is not to pour oil over it or frankincense on it because it is a grain offering of a jealousy, a grain offering for remembrance that brings sin to mind. For the priest is to bring her forward and have her stand before the Lord. Then the priest is to take holy water in a clay bowl and take some of the dust from the tabernacle floor and put it in the water. After the priest has, and the, has the woman stand before the Lord, he is to let down, down her hair and place her in the hands of the, of the grain offering for remembrance, which is the grain offering of jealousy. The priest is to hold the bitter water that brings a curse. The priest will require the woman to take an oath and will say to her, if no man has slept with you, if you have not gone astray and become defiled while under your husband's authority, be unaffected by this bitter water that brings a curse. But if you have gone astray while you're under your husband's authority, if you have defiled yourself and a man other than your husband has slept with you, at this point, the priest must make the woman take the oath with the sworn curse. And he used to say to her, may the Lord make you an object into an object of your people's cursing and swearing when he makes them your thigh shrivel and your belly swell. May this water that brings a curse enter your stomach, causing your belly to swell and your thigh to shrivel. And the woman must reply, amen, amen. And the priest is to write these curses on a scroll and wash them off into the bitter water. He will require the woman to drink the bitter water that brings a curse, and it will enter her and cause bitter suffering. The priest is to take again the grain offering of jealousy from the woman's hand, waving the offering before the Lord, and bring it into the altar. The priest is to take a handful of grain offering as a memorial portion and burn it on the altar, and he will require the woman to drink the water. When he makes her drink the water, if she has defiled herself and been unfaithful to her husband, the water that brings the curse will enter her and cause bitter suffering. Her belly will swell, and her thigh will shrivel. She will become cursed among her people. But if the woman has not defiled herself and is pure, she will be unaffected in the water, by the water and will be able to conceive children. <clears throat> this is the law regarding jealousy of a, when a wife goes astray and defiles herself while under her husband's authority. Or when a feeling of jealousy comes before her husband and he becomes jealous of his wife, he is to have the woman stand before the Lord and the priest will apply this entire ritual to her. The husband will be free of guilt, but the woman that bears, will bear the consequences of her guilt.